Computers harder to wake up than teenagers sometimes. Anybody? They're laughing back there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, everybody knows this old hymn. Uh, I feel certain. And um, has a really, really, really good story to it. But we read in Isaiah chapter 64 and verse number 8. It says, But now, O Lord, thou art Father. We are the clay, thou the potter. And all we... Uh, and all, and we all are the work of thy hand, Isaiah 64 and verse number 8. Has anybody heard, I surrender all? Surely you have. I hope so. But someone once said, I'm taking uh, the history of the hymn tonight from this book, Then Sings My Soul, 150 of the World's Greatest Hymn Stories by Robert J. Morgan. And he writes this, someone once said, only in the Christian life does surrender bring victory. I kind of like that. <laughs> Only in the Christian life does surrender bring victory. Judson Wheeler Van Deventer. How about that name, huh? Um, he was the, uh, uh, the lyric writer of this song. He was born on a farm in Monroe County, Michigan, 1855. And Judson grew up interested in art and music. He was converted to Christ at age 17 and after graduating from college in Hillsdale, Michigan. I think that's still a Christian college, by the way. Judson became an art teacher and then supervisor of art for a high school in Sharon, Pennsylvania. In 1885, he toured Europe visiting art galleries and museums and studying painting. He was also a musician having, having, having studied I should say, in numerous singing schools. All the while, Judson was heavily involved in his local church where he sang in the choir. He found himself especially fulfilled when participating in evangelistic rallies and revivals in which people received Christ as their personal Savior. Friends encouraged him to resign from the school system to enter full-time music evangelism, but for five years he struggled with the decision. Finally, falling to his knees, he said, Lord, if you want me to give my full time to thy work, I'll do it. I surrender all to thee. For the next several years, he traveled extensively through the United States, England, and Scotland, assisting in evangelistic work, leading the singing for Wilbur Chapman and other evangelists, and winning men and women to Christ. While engaged in meetings in East Palestine, Ohio, Judson stayed in the home of George Sebring, and it was there that he wrote the hymn, I, Surrendered, I Surrender All, while recalling his own personal submitting to full-time ministry. Moving to Tampa, Florida in 1923, he began teaching hymnology, hymnology, I guess you say that, at the Florida Bible Institute. And uh, there in the class, uh, in, in chapel in the 1930s, a student at Florida Bible Institute sat wide-eyed listening to Judson Van Deventer. That student was Billy Graham. Uh, Billy Graham later wrote this, and I'm quoting, One of the evangelists who influenced me early preaching was a hymnist who wrote I Surrender All, the Reverend J.W. Van Deventer. He was a regular visitor at the Florida Bible Institute, now it's known as Trinity Bible College, in the late 1930s. We students loved this, uh, loved this kind, deeply spirited gentleman who often gathered in his winter home in Tampa, Florida for an evening of fellowship and singing. I also read that uh, uh, Mr. Van Deventer uh, participated in some of the early Billy Graham evangelistic crusades. And I'd have to add something personal to that. Now, I, I, Billy Graham at the end of his ministry was not the Billy Graham at the beginning of his crusades. But I know this much about Billy Graham. One of the reasons that I became bold enough to be a Sunday school teacher and later a song leader was because of the pastor I had right before I came here to Landmark Baptist Church. His name was Jerry Atkins. And Jerry Atkins was in, uh, raised in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Unsaved, didn't care anything about the Lord, didn't get saved till he was in his 30s or 40s. He's now gone on to be with the Lord. 
But one night, not him, but his wife got saved in front of her television set watching the Billy Graham Crusades. Then she started praying for him. He finally went to church. He got saved. Long story short, he became a pastor and became pastor right over the hill here, as a matter of fact. We used to have church in the Senior Citizens Building right here in Glade. So it's something that the, the person who was preaching when Preacher Jerry's wife got saved, leading to him getting saved, that preacher was influenced by this man and this song. And we still sing it today. Now, I, I did some more research, and music was written by Winfield S. Whedon. And uh, I don't know if they collaborated together. I'm not sure how that worked. But one thing that impressed me about Mr. Whedon was this. is There's a picture of his grave marker, and there permanently engraved on the gravestone, it says, I surrender all. And he wrote the music to the song. Now listen, that'll preach. <laughs> that will preach for sure. But anyway, that's a picture of the first time the song was published. And uh, I'll tell you what we might do, what you all might want to do, because I doubt you can read those words there. 308 is where the hymn's located. I'm going to play through the, as best I can, um, maybe three stanzas or so of it, and then, if I've got it memorized, we'll sing the chorus with the instrument, if you all want to do that. So we'll, we'll do that. But one of the, one of the most beloved of all especially invitation hymns is the old hymn that we're featuring tonight called I Surrender All Let's sing that chorus through a couple times. I surrender. 